Okay, so I'm in OBS 22.0.2, 64-bit Windows. I'm just a regular teacher. I'm not a tech guru, per se, or guy that knows um, all the ins and outs of everything. So I had to learn this, too, through YouTube and everything else. I'm going to add a scene, and I'm going to call that my announcements. Once I'm in my scene, I'm going to hit my sources, and... I'm going to go to video capture device and I'm going to go webcam. Okay. Um, you can see I already have my green screen and everything set up right here. Um, I got to move around some things here to get it adjusted to where I want it. I just have a real webcam to order off of Amazon. It's, uh, it's not bad. Um, it's sort of pointed there and it's pointed at a desk. I can go to my configure my video I can work on my zoom and my camera control I zoom out right now I'm just gonna leave it about right there it's fine um, doesn't really matter right now anyway but you can kind of go through and change all that if you want um, when you go through we'll add all this stuff later I don't know what half of it even means to be honest with you um, so if I have all this stuff I don't even know what that is. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Don't know what that is. And you guys might be like, man, this guy doesn't know anything. Um, I just trial and error. So once I have it, then I kind of stretch it out to where I can see it. And notice it's not quite where I want it to be. So I go back. Go filter. Oop. I go properties. All right, and then I have to configure my video again, so I might have to zoom out. All right, and then I'll pull, try to get it to where I want it to be. Okay, and I'll go back to properties, configure video, zoom in, zoom out. All right, apply. Okay, that's kind of what it, you can see. Um, we do the best we can to fill it in. Sometimes it gets stretched too far. All right, and I have to do this to try to might be a little too high but I gotta be able to see the kids on where the kids are um, and I have to maneuver the desk so it's not perfect by any means um, and if it's too much desk and not enough green screen we can always re increase it to where it needs to be um, like I said it's it's never perfect and it's a trial and error so I have my webcam that's my top source um, and then I'm going to add a video, kind of like a background video. Um, a lot of times what we do, and just because we don't like try to sell it or right, wrong, or indifferent, uh, we can just do like a green screen background for the news. Um, we can just do loops. So I'm just going to do background loops for schools. It's just kind of stock image stuff. Um, if it does have sound, you can cut it off. These balloons or something. A lot of people, if you don't know, you can go SS before the Y. Uh, you can most places, but if you can go save from net, um, this is kind of what we teach the kids to do. And terms of you know download some things that are copy right free download it um, usually don't have this problem but it might pop up here but it still is downloaded okay and then we just strike that and put that on the desktop once we have that um, into we add another source and our source is a media source 
and we could put a background video so once we have a background video then uh, we find the background video that we just downloaded and we have all kinds of background videos usually we put it in a folder but for right now I'm just teaching this so now we have to have um, that over top and we have to add a filter on a webcam and we have to go to add effects chroma key and then we have to put green screen on that so now you want to try to get it as gray as possible and I'm no expert by any means and I'm sure there's people watching videos saying no you're not you're not an expert at all which I never planned on being one in terms of this I just kind of see what I can do and I don't even know what those things are and once I have that then I should be able to um, put that one of the things that you like well where'd your video go well if I go to my background video and I go to um, my properties one of the things if I don't click it it restarts playback when source becomes active or loop I gotta loop it it's only a 20 second video and then I also have to have um, the background video visible it's like a layer so now you can see the balloons and you can see the sky um, and it's in the bottom right there so I have that and then I need people acting um, in front of the camera which is fine um, but I'm just showing you the OBS software the other thing that we'll do is we'll do um, we have a mic that you have to become active with uh, and we'll go to our settings and in our properties um, we'll select our microphone which we do have a microphone it doesn't cost a lot and then it's the right microphone you can adjust it if you have a video at the end you'll cut the mic by doing this you will just throw it down a lot of times uh, our kids are really good at that um, so a few things like if you have um, images that you want to see um, so if you have like I don't know I'm just gonna put a basketball game and I'm just gonna put a basketball team picture like a picture in picture um, we have a basketball here all right there's a basketball team you hit OK and you're like oh my gosh it's taking up the whole thing and you just it's just layer upon layer is what we do um, and we just try to get it the best we can I said this is this doesn't say perfect announcements it just says you know this is how we do it um, I'm sure there's a million other ways to do it um, it just takes a long time to get this thing down here All right. so if you wanted to put that in the corner you could put it in the right corner kind of like the news in a way and then when you're talking about the video right you got to make sure that that's on top I guess um, and when you're recording your announcements if you're saying the basketball congratulations to the boys basketball team as they took on whatever Shelby last night and then when you're done talking you just you just click off of it so you can have multiple uh, of those videos you get multiple videos at the end of the day you also could have you know one of the things I showed you how to download the video, um, you know, if you have a video of the day, like you have to download it from YouTube, or if you have like a, just a motivation for kids, you know, a one minute video that you want to put at the end, maybe the word believe. Now, I didn't watch this, I'm not going to show it all. But if I just copy that again, And we have a team of kids who um, do that, and they basically read the announcements using the Chromebooks tied to the Google Doc, which is shared throughout all teachers. Basically, um, once we, of course, it's going to take a while. It doesn't even do this normally, but um, I'll try a different one. That one's spinning for some reason normally it says has no problem you come down here download video and browser and that comes down you get download 720 ends up down here in the chrome 
um, even though it says it can't be reached. I'm not sure why. You could put a folder, all kind of messy. Um, basically, we add that into our video. Um, in our video, we hit media source, and then this becomes our uh, video of the day. Create new, make source visible. Now you could have kids make their own highlights from games and whatever. We've done that before. Um, works pretty good. And then basically what we've done then is just find that video, which is like believe one minute. Good. We don't want to loop it. We want to restart it. Hide source. We'll play back ends. So that's the video. It's not. I don't need it to. Um, restart playback when source becomes active so when you hit the the eye alright that's when uh, it becomes active um, and the other thing is you notice that your webcam has to stay on top and then that way So my background video. So your webcam has to stay on top of your background video, and then basically it'll start every time you hit this I, it'll restart the video. Um, the other thing is when you're done, you say all your announcements at the end, cut your mic, then play the video. The source it will not record, okay? Um, your your sound then into your video. The video sound will automatically play into your morning announcement. So it's transitioning really well. Um, and then if you need to say something at the end, you could. Uh, you could put your mic back on. Um, this is probably the most important thing in your settings, your stream. You want to make sure that you stream it to YouTube, or at least if you're going to do it like how we do it. And then in your YouTube, in my presentation, we talk about getting your server and your stream key basically you put your stream key there and then every time you hit start streaming it'll automatically upload to YouTube um, if you mess up it is live you just have to delete it later and then you get to restart it another one another one um, if you want to do recording it's I've never done it that way um, but you have to choose a path and then um, recording quality if you want it a little higher maybe you have it formatted to a a drive on your computer you can put it as mp4 whatever you want to do you could do it to your computer you could do it there but there's no it's easily uh, uploaded to YouTube as well if you didn't want to go live I never really mess with any of this stuff um, basically I just record my announcements on here by hitting start streaming and go from there that's a basic tutorial you can do all kinds of things you can add all kinds of pictures and sources and when the kids do their uh, announcements you know you can recognize students and the thing that I'm seeing right now is <clears throat> you want to have <coughs> your layers on top and like I said I've trained kids to do this so I don't do this every day but they can easily when you can have a techie kid um, really do a good job with um, just when they're talking and reading announcements they hit the picture and it's, re it's really pretty cool and the kids really get into it and um, it's really easy to do. You just got to have the hit kids hitting the right buttons, I guess. Um, they do better than I do. You could do scene transitions. I never do it. Um, so you could probably also add another scene over here with a movie. There's a lot of possibilities. I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, like I said, I am not an expert on this. This is just what we do. And if you have questions... Um, you know, you could probably find millions of YouTube videos um, to answer all your questions. I hope this helps some, someone, and hopefully it saves you a little money. We do have a green screen. We do have a lights. I think we spent 150 bucks total on everything. I'm sure you can find a microphone. We found a microphone and a webcam. We didn't buy it. The only thing we bought was two lights and uh, a green screen. And it was under 150 bucks, so I don't think that's terrible. And no software to buy.